What's up? You like your new roof? I figured you would. In fact, if you arrange it the other way, you could make a little, um... Um, and a uh, disincentive for, um, your friend to <clears throat> lose his way again. Okay, I'm gonna work back to the stable. My dear, dear wife. So if I gather my thoughts, what I know is this. The legendary sword is more than fable and far closer to fact. Can it cl truly defeat any monster? Does it truly exist in Hyrule? Yes and yes. And it's highly unlikely to be found in something, something woods. Hmm? Uh, tell me, you. How long have you been there? You didn't happen to overhear what I was just saying, did you? Uh, legendary sword, what you talking about? <laughs> well, you heard. I thought as much, but I have nothing to fear. I stand comforted but that only the Chosen One can wield the legendary sword that defeats any monster. And the Chosen One isn't an eavesdropper. He's an eave that is perfectly fine with being dropped in on. Me, I mean. Ah, uh, let me share this openly. Some days ago, I bid d farewell to my dear wife, Sorelia, to set out from Lakeside Stable. I find myself now at this stable, but the something-something woods that I seek is still far away. So forgive me if I have no more time for eavesdroppers. I have to find the legendary sword to protect my dear wife. Did you not hear me? My fault entirely. The legendary sword is meant for a chosen one like me. Ah. Uh, I imagine that Sorelia is all alone, waiting my return. I must find the legendary sword and return to her side as soon as I can. Alright, well, sorry bro, your hair is the wrong color. Come on, Gangle. I was gonna say, let's end off the session. Am I ending off the session, really? Like this? Because I was gonna go to the Great Plateau. I think this is the last shrine. Oh, we haven't even explored that. Huh. Well, uh, we'll see how I'm feeling. Right, we'll see how I'm feeling. I'm, I'm hitting the four hour mark for this recording. Um, we've actually been making a lot of progress here, which is awesome. Um, but four hours is a lot. I, I start to get cagey towards the five hour mark just because I remember old versions of the Elgato software. Uh, how do I put this? Um, recording over the beginning. They would overwrite the beginning of a recording after the five hour mark previously. And I'm not a big fan of that. That's a bridge. There is undubitably. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, I Korok here. Since apparently I'm doing this all the time now. That's not terrible. Um, this will get me there pretty fast. Unless I drive into the water. Hey, this is the beach where I got my actual first horse. The first one I registered. Heart. He was a good one. Thank you for the Koroks. I'm making a lot of progress on that front this episode. I've gotten like 40 or 50 this episode. Where is that? That's obtainable, I think. I don't I don't mind grabbing stuff that's to, like right off the beaten path. It's just getting sidetracked and going into an entirely different region and getting near its tower and like and getting invested is not what I want to do. Uh can I can horses go through water in this game? I forget. So far so good. Oh, I can't swim in this game. Ah. Why did they do that? That's so dumb. There's another one. Next to a stable, no less. Okay, but we're going up. We're going up there. It's a vastly improved plane, actually. And one that I can actually uh, rebuild with, with auto-build. It is kind of cool making these little little toe dips into, uh, into other regions, because then when we get here, it'll just be gas. Although, it might be kind of weird because we don't have a whole lot to do, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. Like, I saw this. I'm, I'm getting it because I saw it. That's really weird looking. Whoa. Oh, this is an old tower. Whoa. That's a cool detail. That's a super cool detail. It's a tower, I think. Whoa, what is that? Spring? Nice. They give us a way out. That is the correct way to do that. 
All right. Try time. A bouncy device. You know what's a crying shame about these games? And would make them honestly infinitely better? There's no claw shot. Why is there no claw shot? Like, is that not just ridiculous and kind of criminal? I'm gonna make use of these. Respawn. Come on. Respawn. I, I love spring shields. I kind of actually like spring shields more than rocket shields because they're so... They're so responsive. They're so... I don't know. It just seems really a lot more fun to just jump on a, a, sp a springboard and instantly get rocketed up into the sky. Okay, and now the next one... I will jump on top of. There we go. Uh, we need a ball from something? Where do we need this ball from? Over there? Okay. Let's... Barely make it. Come on. Oh. Am I gonna fall? I am gonna fall. This will work. Perfect. While we're at it. Come on. Um, how do I... I need this, obviously. I think I set it in there. Put the ball next to it. And then I hit it. One. And now it's my turn. You know what? Maybe it's not my turn. I think I think I can just jump. I think I know my way from here. Go! Go! Why am I beating you? Why did I beat you here? Why is this... Oh, we needed to do this. This isn't the chest. Come on. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Thank you. Thing went into orbit. Could we not have just done this ourselves? I thought this was extra credit, but apparently it's not. Okay. Well, if they're going to do that, I'm going to put this here. Because there's no kill quite like overkill. And I... Hmm. Okay, so that takes me up. Oh, there's... Th there's the chest. Um. Oh, I didn't fuse it, apparently. Oh, yeah. What's in the chest? A sneaky elixir. Okay, don't really care. And let's go. To the skies. It almost looks like we needed three. And we're equipped with all these spring shields. That's awesome. You know what? I have an objective I wanted to do. And I am going the opposite direction of my objective. So I am going to... That is the... That is the stable. Okay, so I don't need to mark that. I want to clear out Central Hyrule and go south. I'm very quickly not doing that. So I am going to go to look at landing, get my horse. Uh, actually, no, I'm just going to go to... I'm going to go back to the tower, and I'm going to fly over there and check that out. And then we'll go to the Great Plateau, and that's probably where I'll end off the, uh, the, the recording session. Let's go. The skies really do seem to be fairly clear above Central Hyrule. That said, I did find this little little platform that I'm not sure how little it truly is. I might just be really far away from it. I can see Colton all the way down there. It's crazy. We've explored this half of the map. Although, I guess I haven't explored the, the gorge. I should probably do that before I go even further south. I really haven't explored it at all. Oh, wait. Overshot a little bit. Oh. Look at that. Little chest, little island. And a large Zonai charge. 
Okay, but we need to go. We need to go there. I, that looks look, just like a a base. I don't think I really care about the base. As long as I confirm that it is just... Yeah, it's just a base. I, okay. There, there are rewards for that, but that's not what we're here for right now. I'm not scared of them anymore. I've, I've kind of... I've hit my groove when it comes to combat. I know how to overwhelm those things and aggro manage. Aggro switch. Really, we're just tying up a couple loose ends in Central Hyrule, and then we're going to go to the Great Plateau. I don't see any more shrines. So we're good on that front. I actually was going to explore the gorge this episode because we have a sh we have a quest, which is this this is my reminder because so far I have not gotten this comment. Uh, we have a we have a quest for with this uh, stable that I it's about finding goats and I have no idea how to complete it. So if you if you know, drop a comment and I'll probably feature your comment. Oh, that's another thing. So. Um, I, I really appreciate having a lot of input from you guys. It's it's really great. I'll be honest. Uh, that's a cave. Uh, let's do this first. But, n knowing that I feature your comments in my episodes, um, probably bear that in mind when it comes to giving me advice, because if you give me a lot of advice in one comment, then it's kind of hard to feature it. Um, and it might have a bunch of stuff that I want to show off later when I do that. And it's all in one comment. Um, so if if you have multiple multiple piece of pieces of advice, um, I'm not saying that I won't feature them if the comment is long. Um, but it's easier for me if the comment is short. You can you can make multiple comments. Don't feel bad about that. It's a comment section. It's not a everybody gets one section. Uh, what on earth is this? What is down here? Oh, this is a uh, Misko's treasure somewhere. Maybe. I want to back up real quick. Kill you. That's pointing over there. I don't. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to walk right by you, sir. I'm looking for Misko's treasure. Looks like there are a bunch of catacombs around here. It looks like there are going to be a lot of un unimportant holes, and then Misko's treasure, and then a, uh, whatchamacallit, bubble frog. First, I'll go high up. Oh, wow. This is, this is cool. Climbing around all this, these roots. I don't care if it's not interesting. I, I want to explore all these. And the fact that it's a Misko's treasure means that I know it's worth it. Go away. Thank you. There he is. Okay, so we got this at least. Now, where is Misko's treasure? I saw the weird spear thing. You know, it might actually just be saying it's in there. I should probably go in there. Did I not go in there? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Ah, uh, this seems like it could be... Could be it, and it's hidden up. Backflip. I'm on some sort of solid ground. Where does this... There it is. I barely saw it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, but where specifically is it there? Up at that ledge. Man. The caves in this game are actually really cool. Like, the fact that they're hiding this stuff and pointing it out, it can be as hidden as, the, as you want, you know, but... Oh, my word. <laughs> okay, up at the top. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. This is something that is just not not possible in older Zelda games. It uses the mechanics of, of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom to its full benefit, and it's something that Breath of the Wild never did. Fierce Danny Boots. Attack up, but also worse than our Phantom Greaves. Okay, well. I mean, 
That's one I wouldn't mind upgrading, because the Majora's Mask is one of my favorite Zelda games. Granted, I do- I also really like Spirit Tracks. Spirit Tracks gets a lot of hate. I don't think it deserves, like, any of it. Uh, it really doesn't. Like, if you- if you hate the DS controls, sure, that's- uh, I'll, I'll give you that one. Um, but most of the hate that Spirit Tracks gets is because it's a sequel to Phantom Hourglass and people lump them together. It really has none of the failings of Phantom Hourglass. I really wish that let- that Chugga Conroy would have Let's Played that. Okie doke. Outside the cave? Uh, I don't think there's anything else to get here. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy again. Uh, yeah, let's- let's head to the Great Plateau. I had... I got a shrine on this thing? Wait, I got two shrines? Oh, wait, no, this one's in the cave. That's fine. Here it is. <sighs> the entrance to the Great Plateau. Oh. Hi. I didn't expect to see you here. You're the literally the last one I expected. You who hear my voice. Come to me in the Temple of Time Ruins. Up the road on the plateau to the south. Okay. I did not expect that. Huh. So we're actually getting the proper entrance to the Great Plateau. The way the devs really intended for it to be encountered, which is good. I'm, I'm glad that we, we dipped our toes and then immediately left. I love the framing of of this architecture that meant nothing in Breath of the Wild. I mean, this was flooded. But now, now it has a purpose. Oh, hey. Uh, you know what? I'll bomb him. All right, that did a decent job. Let's do it again. Come on, come towards me. There you go. Not so tough now, are ya? Does the spring shield work? It does, that's awesome. <laughs> Kinda. It doesn't really work how I want it to. That's sad. Okay, you can die. Do you not see the Lionel horn on my on my weapon here? Does that not teach you a message that maybe, maybe, maybe you shouldn't mess with me? Well, if it doesn't, then you deserve what, what came to you. And that's the end of that. It's cool to be back. There's so much magic. This was one of the best point parts of the game of Breath of the Wild. It was just being on the Great Plateau, figuring stuff out. I remember me looking over at the Great Calamity and wondering, what timeline are we in? Is this is this the adult timeline? Where that magic still had meaning. Now though, you know. Oh well. I think in one of these one of these ruins, not this one. It wasn't this one. I think it was... Oh, hi. Hit me. <laughs> okay. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Goodbye. Strangely, shield bashing doesn't do anything, but blocking is awesome. That's... I'm using that. Oh, I also forgot. I... I do I have a uh, thing that I can do that with? I don't. When I have a shield that I... I is not preoccupied. Oh, that's exactly what I want to do with it. I want to put a mushroom on it. Okay, do I have... I don't have anything for this, do I? Like that, this won't do anything. Yeah. Fine. That doesn't work. Oopsie. Oopsie. How bad would that have been? I just died. I did not mean to do that. Well, it worked. You, sir... I'm about to die. Sure. Okay. Please, please get out of my life. Thank you. 
take your horn. I wish some of these guys had arrows. This was the these were the ruins. These were the ruins that had um that had the old weathered clothes or whatever in them. Oh, also we can go visit the the king's little shack. I wonder if that's still there. I wonder if somebody's living in it. Hello! You are a big bird. You wanna fight me? Where are you? There you are. Come on. Come on. Alright. <laughs> As you were. Any enemies? Oh, hi. Bye. I just have a passive aura now that that elicits murder. Royal shield! More of them! They can't figure out how to reward me anymore! Uh, no, thank you! Thank you, but no thank you. You know what? Ah, no. I was gonna spring shield over that wall, but let's... Let's walk up here as we entered. Taking the stairs. And just... Just experience this again. Uh, the very first Korok seed I ever got was right here, and we're about to get another one, which I should probably, probably equip my Korok mask. Wow. I should have made this the, the last one, actually, had I been thinking about it. Had I had just, like, the tiniest, I thought a tiny bit faster, I would have made this the last one. That would have been really cool. Oh, well. There was a sword here before... This little nook reminds me of Skyward Sword. There's a uh, there's a heart piece in in Faron Woods at the very very beginning uh, that you can get really early on. Super nice. Horox everywhere. Um. Okay. No, I'm not gonna ruin the moment. I'll get this Korok seed later. Got a statue still here. Random pots are still here. The classic Zelda pots. I was talking about Skyward Sword, and legitimately, when I got this pot, I tilted my controller up to get the throwing arc because I didn't want to. I didn't want to bowl it. <laughs> I love Skyward Sword. They were called here to the statue of the goddess again. Homage to Skyward Sword. And you know what? I would call this a significant moment. You who hear my voice. As a result of you draining the water from the gate, a part of me has been freed. You have earned my gratitude. I speak to you now from the depths below in the guise of this statue. A call from the depths. You who hear my voice. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! I direct you to the four chasms across this plateau. Each has one of my eyes nearby. Drop them into the chasms. Then deliver the stones to me, who dwells in the depths below this temple. Do all of this, and a reward will be yours. Wow. Okay, we have a new objective. Which is weird, because we've been here before. <laughs> but apparently the Great Abandoned Central Mine is even more important. Oh. I know what's going to happen. We need to bring them here. Well. Next time. In the Ledge of Zelda, Breath of Tears of the Kingdom. We'll re-experience re the Great Plateau and the depths below. After I get this Quark Seed, then I'll see you guys then. But I'm actually gonna, I wanna end at the top of the thing, which is probably where the Quark Seed is. So we're just gonna awkwardly um, pretend like I paced that a little bit better uh, as I walk all the way up here. And there's a Korok. There's not a Korok, there's a chest. Uh, I'll go even higher, even further beyond. Nostalgic fabric. Cool, the Breath of the Wild glider, probably. Why can't I do this? Hello? Fine, I'll climb this. It's undoubtedly at the top. It's still wiggling. There it is. Ah, 
I will see you all next time for another exciting recording session of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm probably, after doing this, I'm probably going to go back and traverse this line. Because um, there was stuff there in Breath, in Breath of the Wild. There probably is stuff there in Tears of the Kingdom. At least, like, one shrine. Um, maybe a minigame. There was one in Breath of the Wild. Or maybe the goats. Who knows? Who knows? It might be a nothing burger, but I, I kind of glossed over it. So, yeah, we're, we're going to do that next time. Probably after we do this, because we're doing this. All right. Later. Oh, look at that. That's neat. Also, they're, they're floating, because they haven't loaded in yet. That's weird. Oops.